solve the system of equations. Here we have our first equation being x squared plus xy minus y squared equals negative 5. And the second equation being 2x plus y equals 15. And so there are two ways to solve systems of equations. One's by elimination and one's by substitution. Now here it's kind of hard to use elimination because so we have some squared terms and some uh, product of xy and all that. So I'm going to use substitution because we can easily solve for y in the second equation. y, so subtract negative 2x on both sides, y equals negative 2x plus 15. And now we can substitute in for y this expression in the first equation. So here I see y, I'm going to plug that in. And also here I see y being squared, so I'm going to plug that in and square it. So now we have an equation all in x, and so we can solve it, because it just has one variable. So here I'm going to distribute the x, so we have negative 2x squared plus 15x. Here um, I have negative 2x plus 15 all being squared, so I just did the foiling or the squaring kind of off to the side. So we're going to end up with 4x squared minus 60x plus 225. There's still that negative sign in front, so let's um, apply the negative to all three terms. And then I'm going to move the 5 to the other side of the equation. So now we have all the terms on one side of the equation. Let's collect some like terms. So here what I have, for x squared, I have 1 minus 2 minus 4, so that's negative 5x squared. I have plus 15 plus 60, so that's 75x. And for the constants, I have negative 225 plus 5, so that's negative 220. So here's my quadratic equation. Now, I saw that each of these has a common factor of 5, and I also saw that I have a negative. So I, I typically like to have a positive leading coefficient. It's just easier to solve and factor. So I divided all three terms by negative 5. In other words, I divided both sides of the equation by negative 5, but the right is just 0. So 0 divided by negative 5 is still 0. And so I ended up with this. See, if all of these are divided by negative 5, now I, can, I can factor these this uh, quadratic to x minus 11 times x minus 4 equal to 0. And so either of these has to be equal to 0. And so either x equals 11 or x equals to 4. And so those are the x coordinates for, that are solutions. But we also have to find the y coordinates. And we do that by plugging in to any one of the uh, equations. And I chose to plug it into this one because I already solved for y in this equation. So it's pretty easy to plug in x. So negative 2x plus 15, so negative 2 times 11 plus 15, that gives me negative 7. And so that means that x equals 11, y equals negative 7 is one of the solutions. And for the other one, I just plug in 4, and I'll get positive 7. So that means 4 comma 7 is another solution. And so these are our two solutions. Here's a graphical connection. In black, I graph the first equation. And in red, I graph the second one. And you can see red, it's kind of an interesting equation. And you can see it forms this kind of a what's called a hyperbola, and it's got this part and the bottom part, and you can see the red part is just a line. And you can see that when they intersect, that those are the solutions. You can see up here is 4, 7, and down here is 11, negative 7.